I've got something for you, Daniel. Oh, I think this is going to help you. Uh, oh, wow, thank you. Yes. Gates, gates, gates. Oh, okay. that is so nice. Now, I've got one here, mm -hmm. and I've also got one on the other side. You're going to call Sasha and Digweed, and as you go in, I want you to say in to the dogs, all okay. right? Sasha, Digweed. N nicely. In. Sasha, Digweed. And walk in. in. Walk in with them. Come on, come in. Come on, Sasha. Come on, Diggs. Come on, in. Come on. Good, Good boy. Good night. Good girl. If the dogs see being in the kitchen as a positive thing, they're more likely to go in there. If you think the dogs are getting too crazy in here and you need to give them some quiet, calm time, that's when you put them in the garage. I really hope the gates are going to be really useful for the family. I hope they allow the dogs to become more part of the family. It's going to keep the dogs safe. It's going to keep the kids safe. Good girl. Good boy. But for the dogs to truly be successful in the house, they will need to learn some boundaries. I know you have a problem with Sasha being on the couch. Yes, you can see the results of dogs being on the couch, and I just don't like to look at that. And this is actually the better side of this cushion. Both sides of the cushion were torn up. No wonder Randy doesn't want the dogs on her couch. I'm going to back you up 100%. No more dogs on the couch. Sasha doesn't like it when someone forces her off the couch. She growls at them down. In order to stop that, I want to make getting off the couch rewarding for Sasha. To begin with, we're going to give her treats. So all I'm going to get you to do... Sasha, off. Good girl. That's it. Sasha, off. Good girl. OK. Getting off the couch is a good thing, OK? okay. Not a bad thing. It's a good thing, getting off the couch. Now it's Randy's turn. Point and say, Sasha, off. Sasha, off. Good. Now, when she's got everything off. OK. Sasha, off. Good. Then say, good girl. Good girl. Nice. I love the tone of voice, but I just want you to be a bit more direct with your body language. Randy has to be stronger with her hand signals so that Sasha understands what Randy's asking her to do. Tell her off much more direct with the finger. Sasha, off. Good. I think I had a good response from Sasha, particularly with the treat. Maybe that'll improve our relationship. Good girl. With Sasha learning some boundaries inside the home, Victoria wants to take the training outdoors. I want to give you a special harness. This is a harness where the dog is led by its center of gravity, which is the chest. Each time the dog pulls, the dog's body gets pulled round. With Sasha harnessed, they are ready to walk. When she walks well, I praise her. Pulls, I stop. Good girl. Good girl. See how she backed up? Yep. Thank you. Now we go to where you want to go. If she pulls me again, I stop. Sasha's a smart dog because she learned really quickly. If I stopped, she had to back up. And only then did I walk ahead again. OK, I want you to take over this leash. OK. I want you now to really watch her and to give her encouragement yeah. that she's doing well. Good girl, Sasha. There you go. Good. That's it. Okay, so good, good girl. girl and you carry good girl. But Sasha's not quite ready to relinquish control. You did exactly the right thing then. When she starts jumping up at you, you stop and you become completely boring. Come on. Nope. And okay. that's what she likes to do, is take control, remember? Yeah, yeah, you bet. She's taking control right now. Come on. But Daniel holds firm. After a while, Daniel got used to the training. Come on. Good. And Sasha was walking next to him. It's the first time he's walked her since she was a puppy, where he hasn't been dragged down the street. She's already not pulling me as bad. Yeah. The leash training I did with Victoria went exceptionally well. Now I have hope that I can take Sasha out into the public. Things may be going smoothly with Sasha one-on-one, -on -one, but together with Digweed, it's another story. I think they're mostly fighting over you. Sasha especially has a really big affinity for you. The dogs are fighting because Sasha gets jealous. Sasha gets very protective of her people. And when Digweed's around her people, she doesn't like it. Instead of trying to break the dogs up, screaming at them, I'm going to ask you to say enough to get up and just to walk. Walk away from where the dogs are. Let's see what they do. OK. OK? By taking yourself away from the dogs, the 
dogs learn that you going away is a bad consequence for negative behavior. Within seconds, Sasha's jealousy rears its ugly head. Okay, go, move, move, say enough. Enough. Don't touch her, don't touch her, that's it. Okay, come back and sit on the sofa. Tell him off. Off, Diggs. Off. No, he's not gonna. No, wait, you're gonna you're gonna have a fight. You're gonna have a fight. That's it. Go away. Get up and tell him off. 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 Good. Sit down on the sofa again. Now, you get up, say enough. Enough. Walk away. By walking away whenever Sasha growls, Back. Daniel sends a clear message that her behavior will not be rewarded. Sasha's so focused on Daniel that for her, Daniel walking away is a big deal. Enough. Good. Enough. Good. Again. Enough. And after he does it several more times, Sasha finally catches on. But now, Digweed is nicely relaxed, very close in her presence. That's a really, really good sign. Man. The fact that the dogs were being so peaceful at the end totally blew me away, man. That was a complete shock. It was almost like magic. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.